Yeah, in this video, we're going to solve another problem. Uh, in previous video, we have solved a problem related to the probability, right? Uh, it was uh, almost like this, but in that uh, problem, we have tossed only one coin, right? Here, we are, we are tossing two coins. So, let me read the question. Two coins are tossed simultaneously 500 times, and we get two heads 105 times, one head 275 times, no head we get, right? No head we get in 120 times no head means we get only tail and tail right so find the probability of the occurrence of each these events means we have to find out now the probability for the getting two heads one heads and no heads right so there are three probabilities we have to find out here right so <coughs> let me first find out one what is the probability of two heads it's quite simple uh, if you have seen the uh, previous video you can easily do this so uh, again uh, as we have learned the probabilities uh, formula that's probability probability of now I'm writing two heads right so probability of getting two heads right two heads this I have to find out right and in question it is saying that uh, there was two coins right there was two coins there was two coins right uh, and each have ha ha head and head and again this was not suppose coin one this was coin two and th this is the tail part and tail part right so when we flip this when we toss this both together how many times we tossed we tossed together 500 times we toss this and this once and again we toss this and this again second time again third time fourth time like this we tossed 500 times so in 500 times we may get anything we may get first time high, uh, head right we may get in first time uh, tail uh, tail we may get tail right and it may be like this uh, like this that we get tail and tail in both side it may be like this we get tail and then high, uh, head in second one it may be like in first we get head but in second we get the tail it may be like this in uh, both we get head and head it may be like this we get the tail and tail so there may be any possibilities there are lots of possibilities but when we do the uh, this experiment we got these values right so now we have to find out the probability of two heads what's the uh, probability of uh, two heads right for the events two e two heads so it is given here that 105 times we get the two head so what i will write number of trials number of trials in which right number of trials in which we get 105 times uh, two heads right so number of trials in which we get the two head number of trials for two for two heads right and then whole divided by total number of trials total number of trials right so now I think uh, you can do this number of trials for the two heads as per the question it is 105 right it is 105 and the total number of time it is 500 times we tossed both this coin first coin and second coin so divided by 500 right so 100 upon 5 105 divided by 500 this is our probability but we can reduce it into the some simpler form right uh, so it will be 21 right 521 is 105 and 105 is a right it's 21 so you can end up here also but if you want to convert into the uh, decimal form then you can easily write 0 0.21 right or if you want in percent form then it will be 21 percent right because if you want to convert any fraction into percentage then you have to just multiply by the 100 and then 100 this 100 and this 100 will cancel out right uh, then it will get 21 percent right again another case is uh, one head right probability of one head so uh, let me find this probability of one head so probability for one head right for one head means at least we get one head right we may have got a head in this part uh, I mean in first coin or we may have get some something uh, suppose uh, tail in second bar or may twice we have get the head head right or it may be like this uh, like this that uh, in first we get uh, tail here but here get we head right or it may be that in both cases we get the head and head so it may be anything but at least we need one head in every trial 
there should be at least head one right it may be ht uh, means head and tail or maybe head and head or it may be like this tail first and then head so it may be anything but at least there is the presence of one head now so that we need so like this we get 275 times so what I can write here now number of trials right number of trials for one head at least one head right for one head whole divided by total total number of trials right so uh, let me move a little bit upside right so number of trials for the head as per the question it is 275 right so 275 whole divided by total number of trials that is 500 right now if you want to cut this you can or uh, if you want to uh, uh, convert or you want you, you can leave it here also but uh, let me solve this right so let me cut this right 5 5 za and again it will be 2 left so 5 5 za and again 5 100 za so it means 55 upon 100 or you can write 0 0.55 so probability of getting at least one head is 0 0.55 or if you want to convert it into the percentage it's simple simply see it is 555 upon 100 right so if you want to convert any fraction into the percentage then you have to simply multiply by the hundred percent so this hundred percent or hundred percent will cancel out and you will get fifty five percent right so the probability of uh, one here is fifty five percent right so now the third one let's do third one is what's the probability of low head getting no head right so what's the probability getting no head so now let's find the probability of no heads it's it we get hundred and twenty times right so probability for no heads right no head it means we get tail and tail right uh, neither in the first we get the he uh, uh, head right not in the second we get the head we didn't get anything in both time we get the tail neither it was like this or not it was like this right that means in the first we get tail and in second we get the head and in first we get the head and in second we get the tail it was not like that only no heads means only tail and tail we need right so the probability of no heads is again how many times we get the tail and tail it means how many times we get no heads that's question is saying according to the question 120 times we get no head right so number of trial for no head for no heads right for no heads divided by total trials total trials right so it is uh, as per the question right it is 120 so 120 divided by 500 right now if you want to reduce it in the lowest term then you can simply divide it by 5 uh, both we can cut by 5 so 5 to the 10 right 2 left so 5 for the 24 and here 100 so that is 24 divided by 100 this is the lowest term you can further cut this also if you want right but uh, I'm just writing here 0 0.24 right in decimal it's 0 0.24 or further if you want uh, to convert it into the percentage then simply you have to multiply this here by 100 so 100 and, and cancel out so it is 24 percent right so the probability of no heads is 24 percent and probability of uh, one head is 55 percent and the probability of two heads is 21 percent right now I think you ho uh, you uh, you understand this I hope this right you understand this question and similar types of problem uh, you try this if you're watching through my blog right there are lots of problem try to solve that uh, solve that and in next video we'll be doing a uh, little bit something different that you you can get some uh, different knowledge right so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye